Ease your aches, end your pain. Today on Dr. Oz, 10-minute remedies for back pain. Pain-free in 10 minutes. Three quick fixes for relief. Plus, the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan is reinventing breakfast. Three new smoothies that boost your metabolism and help burn fat fast. Coming up next on Dr. Oz. Welcome, everybody. All right, this entire month of January, I'm helping you feel like a 10. And today, I'll show you how to do that in just 10 minutes. Now, take a look at these ladies behind me. They, like 47 million of you, suffer from back pain, but not for much longer. Physical therapist Peggy Brill is here with the new 10-minute remedies for your back pain. I love having you on. So how can you actually get the kind of relief you want in just 10 minutes? Is that really feasible? It, it is feasible, and you, you want to try to block the pain any way you can. And you need to stretch, you need to strengthen, you need to stabilize, but in that interim, you got to get some relief. And just in 10 minutes, so let's get to these remedies. The first is a 10 minute temperature relief. Whether it's a cold pack or an ice massage, cold temperature therapy is a safe, simple, and effective way to treat back pain. The cold roller is the latest temperature tool. By rolling the tool across the back, the area is cooled, reducing blood flow, swelling, and inflammation. The cold also makes the nerves in the area less sensitive, which means less back pain and fewer muscle spasms. There's a million ways to do it. Peggy's demonstrating one of those ways. It's using a cold temperature to relieve Venus's back pain. But you're actually using a roller as well. Yes, this is the Thermofor. It's the latest thing that we've been using for sports injuries and for back pain. It comes both where you can heat it. There's a heated portion that you can put in the microwave and pop this on. This one happens to be on ice. If I Ideally, I would like to do heat and ice to get that 10 minutes relief, do a little bit of heat, and then follow up with the ice. If I only had that short time, I'd say just use the ice. Ice is an anti-inflammatory, and then you're getting the compressive forces of the rolling. Venus, how is it? The cold is actually very soothing to the back. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to feel some relief from the dull throbbing that I had when I walked onto the stage. Give me a rough idea of how much reduction. On a scale of one to 10, what was it well, before? Well, I started with about a seven or eight, and I'm feeling at about a five right now. Oh, it's fast. Yeah. And how quickly does it normally start to work? Well, you know, you're, what you're doing is you're interfering with the perception of pain. So some of that is going to be immediately, but then you're also creating the compression, trying to get the lymph to move, and then just the massaging the tissues helps people relax. I'll leave Peggy with you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you right. so much. The next 10-minute remedy is topical creams. Prescription topical creams made from anti-inflammatory drugs can provide a remedy for your back pain with lower risks of side effects than oral pain medication. These creams work by penetrating below the skin surface to deliver the medicine directly to the ache. They reduce swelling and block inflammation. And they're effective. When used for just one to two weeks, research shows topical creams can reduce your pain by 50%. Peggy loves these prescription non creams better than pills for back pain. Why is yeah, that? Yeah, well, because when you're applying something directly to the area that you're having the problem, you're going to get the medicine going into that area versus going through your whole body and having to deal with that systemically. You want just the anti-inflammatory and the pain relief to go into that specific spot. Now, use a non prescription strength. Uh, cream. Can you show me how you usually apply it to your back? Oh, sure. It's very simple. It's like any other cream. All you would do is actually just put a little bit in your hand, and then you rub it exactly where you feel the pain. And the pain that I was experiencing was very stabbing, stabbing um, sharp pains. Mm -hmm. But once you start using it, it dulls down. It takes the edge off of things. How much of a reduction are you seeing? <sighs> well, I would say I started off at like 9, 10, and now I'm down to maybe a 7. Oh, a lot of pain you're having. Yeah. I want you all to be aware that there are these prescription non -steroids. There are also over-the-counter creams that work well. Look for salicates or capsaicin, you know, the, the spice we talked about a lot. They'll also work, work well. Those are the active ingredients. The next 10-minute remedy is to tape your back pain. Kinesio taping is a technique initially developed to treat the pain and injuries of athletes. Now, there's evidence it can also help ease your back pain. Colorful strips of tape are strategically placed to target areas of pain. One theory is that they open up a space between your skin and muscles and cause nerves to send messages to the brain to stabilize the muscles in your back. In one study, adults treated with kinesio taping for just one week experienced significant reduction in their chronic low back pain. Best of all, it's pain relief without medication or side effects. 
The cool idea, May, Connie, and Derica are all using this Kinesio tape to heal their back pain. How fast does it usually work, Peggy, to impact? Well, you know, the, the magic number is we want to see relief in about 10 minutes. And it will help uh, reinforce what the muscles are supposed to do. Now, you use different patterns here as well. Yes. You know, I, I, I did these two to kind of support what their rectus spiny muscles, the large muscles that come from your pelvis all the way to the top of your skull. They get overworked. We're trying to sit up, sitting for too long period of time or being athletic and we hurt them. Right, and then you have different color. What's the, what's the pink well, versus the well, black? The, the colors are just your preference. Sometimes the colors are also um, different resistant tension on them. Some are stronger than others. Um, and then one of the other ones that I love is the X. X marks the spot. So many people have problems, L4, L5, L5, S1. Um, this tends to be an area where they're using your upper body or lower body. You get all the stress through this area. So this is a, a great way to just splint and reinforce stability in there on top of doing exercise. And you have to have a physical therapist do this or can you do it yourself? No, the, the nice thing about this is, I mean, you can go to a sporting goods store and pick this up and ask somebody to tape you and get relief very quickly from it just to help splint that area when you're very vulnerable. Derek, if you can turn for one moment, I'm gonna ask you, if you, all, you all can turn if you don't mind. I'm just curious if you guys are satisfied by this. Roughly, what was your pain before you put the tape on and what is it now? It was about a six or a seven this morning. And what is it now? It was, now it's a lot better since you put it on this morning. I've definitely gone, it's gone down a little bit, maybe not about four or five now. So These that's are a huge difference. And would you use it every day? I would use it every day as long as your skin doesn't get irritated and, like and do it with your exercise. I mean, you really, this is treating one of the symptoms. You really want to strengthen and stabilize your, your back. Yes. Are you all pretty happy with it? Yes. Very much so. All right. Let's move to one more 10 minute remedy. It's the electrical stimulator. Electrical nerve stimulation is a back pain treatment that uses low voltage electric current to relieve pain. Now technology allows electrical stimulation to be delivered through battery operated devices. When electrodes are placed on the back over the area of pain, they send impulses through the skin to the nerves, blocking signals of pain. With just 10 minutes of electrical stimulation, you could be free of back pain. So Stacy's getting treatment. How long do you normally treat folks with these uh, electrodes? Usually this is done after they've done their therapeutic exercise and have had joint mobilization and treatment. Um, we'll do this to relax the muscles anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And Stacy, what does it feel like to you? I feel like a, a tingling feeling. It goes throughout the back. It's like a, a massage in a sense. And after you take the electrodes off, after the you know 10 minute, 15 minute treatment, you have the benefit a couple hours. Yeah, later? a couple hours, a couple days. I mean, it's it's couple again. Couple days. Yeah, it's, it, it, but you know, you're coupling this with stretching and strengthening and stabilizing. This is an adjunct to help promote the healing process and break the cycle of pain and spasm. I'm glad it's helping you. Listen, the big question, of course, is if you can't go to a physical therapist's office, can you do it at home? And yes. I understand they're at-home versions of these devices. Now, they're called TENS devices, <clears throat> T-E-N-S. Remember that because we're all talking about things that work in 10 minutes. So these are TENS devices. That's not why they're called that, by the way. How effective are they? Um, well, for a lot of people, this, again, it's as it's, it's effective as them taking aspirin or Tylenol or, or using something else. This is a way to let the nervous system, okay, there's another stimulus coming in and it blocks the perception of pain. You try it on me, can I? Yes, you don't mind? yes. I hope it does. Peggy always hurts me. <laughs> Under the guise of doing physical therapy on me, she'll actually- no, I might give you pain, but I never hurt you. <laughs> That's right, That's very well stated. It does sound like semantics, but I think. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna feel is like a little vibration and you can set these machines to have Whoa. different- Different feeling, yeah. Oh, I definitely feel that. Yeah, which is surprised because a little battery creates that kind of. Oh my yeah. goodness, it's eerie actually. I yeah. didn't expect that at all. It actually feels good once you get used to it, but it's a little startling in the very beginning. Well, you know, pain is the same thing. It's sent to your brain on electrical impulse. All this is doing is applying that electrical impulse to bypass what you're already perceiving. Well, thank you very much, Peggy. Listen, welcome. one of the best ways to alleviate back pain we have not talked about today is to lose weight. So if you really want to feel like a 10, which I think most of us do, it's not too late to start my total 10 rapid weight loss plan. It's on DrOz.com. Join the millions of folks who are actually doing it. We'll be right back. Thanks, <laughs> What's your favorite back pain remedy? I've had really bad back pain for years, and I literally can't leave the house without stretching. A quick five minutes, and I'm pain-free for hours. Share your story on Facebook.com slash Dr. Oz. Next, the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan has the smoothies to slim you down, the perfect breakfast to start your day. Full of protein, they'll satisfy the cravings of any carb lover. Easy recipes to kickstart your metabolism to curb your hunger all day. Next.
All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes. Then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. A miracle, a miracle. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. It's the new year, and you want to lose weight. I get it. That's why I'm here to help you with the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. This has been a year in the making. Over 2 million of you participated, and this new plan should give you the results you've been looking for. In just a few weeks, you can lose up to 10 pounds. No clubs, no fees, just medically sound, real advice. Start the plan now. What are you waiting for? Join me all this January. Happy EU Year. week we're going through the total 10 rapid weight loss plan today we're focusing on breakfast the smoothie your first protein packed meal of the day i'm joined by alex she's a busy hairdresser mother of two who's lost seven pounds on the plan so what's been your favorite part of this whole thing what's been the part that got you through it with the smoothies well the part that's got me through it is that i'm actually having breakfast because i always ate what my kids left behind yeah and I don't have any dirty dishes. It's the best. <laughs> it's the <laughs> really? best. It's fast. It's easy. Yes, it I, takes 30 seconds. You can so give I'm it good. to the kids. They don't even know it's purple colored sometimes. They like it. They love it. That's right. right. Come over here. The, the first smoothie that I'm going to talk about today has been field tested by millions. It's our classic berry smoothie. Took a year, everyone, to get <sighs> this just right. We had so much feedback from a lot of folks. Now, you say berry is your go to. Which berries do you like? It is. Any I tricks? like just strawberries and blueberries. It's, it's just simple, I, I love it, it's easy to buy, it's, it's always in the frozen section. You don't like the raspberries, the blackberries? I do like them, uh, but I just go to the blueberries and the strawberries, whatever. Right, let me walk everyone <laughs> through exactly how you make this. Super straightforward, one cup of unsweetened vanilla uh, almond milk. It's gotta say unsweetened on the carton, don't get head fake down this. Right. And for best results, you wanna keep this refrigerated. Then you can take two tablespoonfuls of protein powder, either whey or egg whites, depending if you've got dairy issues or not. Which do you prefer? I prefer the egg white, because I found that a lot of the brands have sugar in it, so. Yeah. I stuck to this, and I liked it, and I can't taste it, so, yeah, so it's I, good. I agree with you, but you really want the protein anyway. You don't need the extra sugar. You get the sugar from the berries. Right. And these two ingredients alone, the almond milk and the, the protein powder, 10 grams of protein in the morning, which means you pretty much got your day going the right way. Then to that, you're gonna add one tablespoonful of flaxseed oil, and you, I want you to do this because in the original recipe, I had flax seeds. The actual flax seeds, guess what happened? You guys all wrote me back saying you're getting these greedy little seeds in your teeth, <laughs> complaining to me I got hate mail, it was terrible. So we changed this to omega-3 rich flaxseed oil. You actually get more omega-3s if it's the oil form as well. Again, please refrigerate it because it's a very fragile oil. You want half of a frozen banana. Peel and cut the banana, don't cheat on this, just a half. Uh, and you can, you know, at the beginning of the week, put it in the freezer after you peel it, because don't forget to do that, and you can use it all week long pretty easily. And then the specialty, of course, is the half cup of frozen berries. You can pick any berries you want. If you happen to like blueberries and strawberries, like some people do, eat those. <laughs> but whatever one you desire is fine with me. And your combination was the My combination is the strawberries and the blueberries. I can't shake half you Half of that. a banana, so I'm good. All right, thank you very much, Alex. You're welcome. All right, now. If you've been on the plan for the last couple days, you're ready for a change from just having a berry smoothie. So we're gonna add two more smoothies to this plan. The first addition is the pumpkin pie smoothie. I brought an expert on this, Joy. She's lost 10 pounds on the plan. And what is it about the pumpkin smoothie that you like? Um, after two days uh, with the berry, I decided I wanted to change. So I tried the pumpkin and I, and I fell in love. You know, I think, Mainly because this time of year, you know, people are having pumpkin pie, they're having pumpkin bread, Dunkin' Donuts has pumpkin coffee, you know, <laughs> scones, uh, you know, you just kind of, it's the, the, the flavor of the month and it helped to... Uh, well, you're through the holidays now, so now you got to figure out how do I get my pumpkin taste? Like, so it tastes like a pumpkin pie, but I can't eat the pumpkin pie anymore. And that's how this, where this program comes in. Simple to make, half a cup, 100% pure pumpkin puree. And you want to do this for a reason, because this comes canned. You want to make sure you don't buy the pumpkin pie filling in the can, that's a big mistake. Then you're basically having pumpkin pie in a blender. You wanna get it with no added sugar and no added salt. Add three and a half grams of fiber to your program if you do this. It's very, very smart. You also wanna add, if you want some sweet ingredients 
that are secret ingredients. Don't tell your friends about these unless they watch the show. One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. That will make it taste like a pumpkin pie. Or you can put two teaspoons like I do to make it extra spicy. Yes, <laughs> yes. or two teaspoonfuls, even better. Yeah. And then a quarter of a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. These are leftover from the holidays anyway. So you got them in your pantry, you might as well use them. Now our taste testers found that this tastes much more like a pumpkin pie if you add a cup of unsweetened coconut milk rather than the almond milk that we often are recommending. They made that one little adjustment. Same smoothie base, by the way. The same half-frozen banana, the same uh, protein powder, whatever you like, the same flaxseed oil. Uh, the rest of it stays the same, but you got the magic sauce over here. And you liked it. I loved it. Some days I would put, I would do half and half, co half coconut milk and half almond milk. We keep modifying it. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. And finally, our third smoothie hits a sweet tooth very hard. It's the chocolate-covered almond smoothie. It even sounds tasty. Melanie's joining us. She's a teacher with a three-month-old. Congratulations. Thank you. You've lost 10 pounds on the yes. program? Yes! I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Me too. So tell me about your experiences with the chocolate-covered almond smoothie. Oh, my God. I love this smoothie. It's like dessert for breakfast. If you're normally like a Frappuccino drinker, this is the perfect replacement. I, myself, like Diet Coke, mm. and I don't need to drink it anymore because this gives me that sweetness. So. Well, let me walk everyone through it so they know how to make it now that you've, taint, you've tempted them. These have some new improved ingredients this year that we're talking about uh, in general, but now very specifically, here's how you're going to apply them. A tablespoonful of natural almond butter, right? That gives you that nutty and, and sweet taste. It's almost three grams of added protein. One teaspoonful of cocoa powder, unsweetened again. It gives you that chocolate flavor. It's very rich in antioxidants, too. Dark chocolates are. Two pitted dates. Don't put the pits in there. You'll break your teeth. It also gives you a little sweetness and some fiber. And then you add that to your smoothie base. Once again, the unsweetened almond milk, uh, you know, you know, whatever protein powder you like, a little flaxseed oil. And I want you to point something out if you don't mind. You think about it, you got 10 grams of protein over here from the protein powder and, and the almond milk, and you're also getting uh, protein from the almond butter. So this has the most protein of any of the smoothies. It also has the most calories. So it is a splurge, it's a treat. I, I don't do it every day. I love the berry one and I have that most mornings, but I do like to change it up and give myself a treat and I'll switch to this one. I love the way you all find your ways through this program. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, you can find all my complete Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan products, including each of these smoothie recipes on DrOz.com. Tomorrow is Friday. I don't want you falling off the Total 10 plan just because the weekend is here. And tomorrow, it's how to get through that weekend. I'll be right back. Coming up next, no energy, digestion problems, gluten may be to blame. You may not be allergic, but you could be sensitive to it. Learn to spot the symptoms, how to find out if gluten is the culprit, and what you can do about it. Coming up. All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes. Then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. A miracle, miracle. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. It's the new year and you wanna lose weight. I get it. That's why I'm here to help you with the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. This has been a year in the making. Over two million of you participated and this new plan should give you the results you've been looking for. In just a few weeks, you could lose up to 10 pounds. No clubs, no fees, just medically sound, real advice. Start the plan now. What are you waiting for? Join me all this January. Happy EU Year. you've heard of someone who has gone gluten-free and you wondered if gluten could be the culprit behind your own digestive issues and low energy. Well, like you, Lakeisha is showing the classic signs of gluten sensitivity. Take a look. No matter how much sleep I get, I'm always exhausted. My life is crazy hectic. Between my husband and I, we both have full-time jobs, six kids. Mom, where's my red sock? Life is just insane. Ready. All I do is drive. I am the car mom. In a perfect world, I'd have a bowl of fruit all the time in my car. But I get bagels, muffins. Do you guys want pizza for dinner? My husband Nick is the family cook, but everything has pasta in it. We even get pasta with pizza. 
but I will eat it and instantaneously I will feel disgusted. My stomach hurts, I have cramps, my stomach's all bloated, and it's not just my stomach. Most days it's I feel foggy, I can't remember anything, my joints hurt, my eyes itch, I have no energy, I just overall feel disgusting. My sister-in-law, she had come to visit and she wanted to make sure she had all of the stuff that she normally eats at home with her because she's gluten-free. But before she was sick, she felt disgusting. Keeping a gluten-free diet has made her feel good. She doesn't have pains in her stomach, she is active. And so that's when I really started to wonder like, okay, maybe I too need to go gluten-free because it's the staple of our household. That's all we live off of. Nothing else makes sense. I want to be healthy, but removing gluten from my diet just seems like too big of a hurdle. I wanna know once and for all if I have a gluten sensitivity, and if so, how to cut it out of my life for good. So Lakeisha, how are your low energy levels and these digestive problems affecting the whole family? Oh my God, it's horrible. I mean, I have 10 year old twins, seven year old and a six year old, and I can't play with them. I just, what, by the time I get home from work and I'm running around, I'm, I'm tired, I'm out of it. I, I wanna play basketball with them, I wanna play soccer, but I just can't. I just can't bring myself to go outside and put on sneakers and play. So why do you think gluten is to blame? Because it, that's all I eat. On my way to work, I grab a bagel, a bagel twist. I get to work, I go downstairs, I have pasta. I have pasta over rice, I have pasta over whatever the heck it is, vegetables, whatever they have downstairs, I have pasta with it, and then a side of bread. Don't forget the bread, don't forget the bread. And then come home for dinner, and I have a kid that loves macaroni and cheese. I mean, it's so bad, his nickname is Alonzo Roni the Macaroni. Alonzo Roni. Alonzo oh, Roni the Macaroni. <laughs> and then we have pizza, and it's quick, it's easy. You know, my husband makes pizza, or we'll order pizza, or he'll make spaghetti and pasta. As a matter of fact, so we I, have a lasagna on our, on our stove right now. <laughs> so I see all the, the gluten in your life, and, but you've actually said you think it's a huge hurdle to overcome, to give up gluten. Yeah, because it's so easy. I mean, it's the first thing I go to. The thought of trying to give it up is just overwhelming. I just have no idea how I would even begin to try to give it up. So the big issue is, are you gluten intolerant? Do you have celiac disease? And there are a couple tests you can do to figure this out. So come on back, let's go to the truth tube. I'm gonna walk you through what we found with you. But this relates to everybody else out there because these clues aren't just blood tests, they're actually based on symptoms. So we did run a blood test on you because I was concerned about what you told me. So the biggest ailment that sometimes bothers people is celiac disease. Not that common, but it's really profoundly important when you have it. So when celiac disease is identified when you have autoimmune reactions in the body. Literally, your immune cells that are supposed to protect you begin attacking you because they're confused by the gluten in your intestines. So every time you have a little bit of pizza or pie, or whatever it's gonna be, you start activating those immune cells. And if you have that, you have to give up gluten all the time. Wow. All the time, like never have it again. Good news is you don't have that. <laughs> your blood work suggests you don't have celiac. She breathes deeply. Yay! She's back. Right. But that doesn't mean that gluten might not be a culprit. It could still be an issue. So we dug a little further. Because the much more common problem in America is gluten intolerance. We have a reaction to the gluten proteins. And this gluten sensitivity, which is really amazingly prevalent, is something that can affect a lot of people and it's more subtle and it gives the kind of signs you're having. So how might this manifest itself? Well, it would manifest itself with symptoms. But in your case, guess what we found? You have that. Wow. You actually have gluten sensitivity. Oh, wow. So that now connects. Does it make sense now? It makes sense. Makes so sense. let's go over this, because I want people at home to realize you don't have to have the blood test to figure this out. Let's just go over all the symptoms you were having. I wrote them all up here, okay? So we wrote down the things that are bothering you the most. The low energy, the headaches, brain fog, joint pain. You've talked about these things. Constipation, right. bloat, stomach pain. The symptoms that are so classically felt by so many Americans. And the most important thing for us to do is listen to our bodies. When you have those symptoms, and everyone at home who hasn't had the blood test that can confirm the Lakeisha that she has this, when you have those symptoms, you can pretty much rest assured that gluten is part of the puzzle. So I think that it would make a big difference if you got off gluten. How would your life be different if you could erase every single one of these symptoms? They all begin to melt away 
as the gluten disappears from your life. I mean, I'd be a wonder mom. You'd be wonder mom. I'd be like the coolest mom on the block. Yes. Because I could be shooting hoops. Yep, shooting with hoops. With the nails basketball. and everything. Yep. And kicking the soccer ball. All that wow. stuff. You just wouldn't have the macaroni with, what's this, Antonio macaroni? Alonzo macaroni. Alonzo macaroni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, guess what? I've got a plan for you. I've got a plan for everybody that you can follow and to find out just how much gluten is to blame for your symptoms and what you can do about it. The 10 day plan for gluten sensitivity when we come back. Next, do you suffer from frequent headaches, digestive problems, and mood swings? These are just a few symptoms of gluten sensitivity. Learn how much your body can tolerate. Uncover hidden gluten in your diet. The 10-Day Elimination Plan, next. All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes, then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. It's the new year and you want to lose weight. I get it. That's why I'm here to help you with the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. This has been a year in the making. Over two million of you participated and this new plan should give you the results you've been looking for. In just a few weeks, you could lose up to 10 pounds. No clubs, no fees, just medically sound, real advice. Start the plan now. What are you waiting for? Join me all this January. Happy New Year. The thought of going gluten-free can be really intimidating to many of us, but my next guest says it's worth the try because it could be the reason why so many of us are feeling just all around lousy. Dr. Mark Hyman is here to break it down for us in a simple 10-day plan for gluten sensitivity. He calls gluten the great masquerader, and it could be the cause behind so many of our ailments. Now, why is that? Well, you know, Mehmet, gluten is a cause of so much that's wrong with us in America. In fact, it can cause irritable bowel and bloating, constipation. It can cause reflux, even colitis. Even your skin can be yeah. affected. Hives and psoriasis, eczema, all that can be from gluten. And of course, joint pain and even arthritis. So you've got it all. And what we know, which is even more scary, that 30,000 uh, people were studied for 30 years. And we found that there was a 35% increased risk of death from things like heart attack and cancer, even if you didn't have celiac, if you're gluten sensitive. So it's really important to know that. So you're going to take us through a 10-day program where you can take the celiac risk down by getting rid of the gluten in our lives. Do you think we're going to have to give it up forever? Well, you know, that's the whole point of the 10-day challenge, right? So you, you give it up, and you get rid of it completely, and then you reintroduce it, and your body is the best doctor because it knows when it feels good or it doesn't feel good. So you take it away, you put it back in, your body reacts, you're going to know immediately. Wow, okay. You guys get to it. You need, you need okay. some help here. Woo, the first step of the plan is to go cold turkey from gluten for 10 days. So look how luxurious and bountiful this table is. Mm -hmm. Looks like your home, your kitchen probably. It does, good, right? it does. Right. That looks like the car, Lunch, that looks right? like the counter. <laughs> but this, this is the like problem. Lunch. It's so alluring. And you know, it doesn't, just, it doesn't just look beautiful. It actually it physically addicts us to it. So Mark, clarify what we're giving up. So the thing is that gluten is, is found in grains, particularly certain grains like wheat, most people know, but it's also found in things like barley and spelt and oats, which you might not know. And, and the key to this whole program is giving up 150%. No exceptions, cold turkey, you gotta go off it. Because if you introduce it in a little bit, like a thumbnail full, you can actually have a reaction if you're gluten sensitive. So you really gotta go cold turkey, and that means everything. What do you think? I don't know about that. I like the oatmeal in the morning, I'm the just, pasta. It's just morning. 10 days, Tigress. Okay. Just, just you know, 10 okay. days. If you could get rid of everything in 10 days, wouldn't it be worth it to see? It would, it totally and if you, would. And if, if it's still you, overwhelming. And if you felt you know, no difference, then you can go back to eating it. Now, you want to be super mom, right? Yeah, I want to be super okay. mom. That was actually the easy part of being super mom. The hard <laughs> part is there are actually many hidden sources of gluten. You have to uncover them and avoid them just for 10 days. Mark? Yeah, you know, so, so we eat a lot of processed food in this country, and a lot of it has got hidden gluten. Things not, you might not realize, like chicken soup and onion soup, beef broth, all have hidden gluten. Salad dressings, marinades, sauces, soy sauce, beer has gluten in it. It's made with barley. Well, thank God, I don't like And beer. lipstick, even lipstick. Lipstick? Even makeup can have gluten in it. And of course, even vitamins and minerals, unless it says gluten-free on the label, 
and prescription medications. Someone was telling me one of their thyroid medications has gluten and their Why? doctor prescribed a, a gluten-free one. So you ask your pharmacist, you can find out. Well, you have to ask your pharmacist. You have to ask your pharmacist. And then envelopes. Don't lick the envelopes because the envelopes have that sticky stuff. It's called gluten. Gluey. That's why I call it gluten because it's gluey and sticky. Also, even stamps. So get the like. dog to lick it? You can get the dog to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's exactly. gluten or your husband or one of the kids. All right. So that's the hard part, okay? Again, just for 10 days, but it's worth it because, you, again, you're going to be super mom when we're done. So okay. here's what we're giving you back. First of all, we want you to embrace gluten-free grains. Mark? There's a lot of great things you can eat besides wheat, right? So... I love my favorite is, is black rice. It's like the blueberries of grains. It's full of antioxidants. Dark colors means it's full of antioxidants and it's also low in sugar. You've got quinoa and buckwheat and teff. Teff is an amazing grain which is from Africa and it's, it's a really delicious grain you can make with bread. And amaranth also is very high in protein and anti-inflammatory so you can get rid of the inflammation that comes from gluten. Mm. That's good. Can you taste it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to force it on you. It's okay. Now, the quinoa is part of our total 10 rapid weight loss plan, okay. but I like it in general because it doesn't have any of these potentially irritating glutens in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. How's it's it taste crunchy, for you? It's tasty. It tastes like rice. Like yeah. rice. Yeah. You're replacing foods that we're commonly using, these last two tables, with foods that are used all around the world that frankly taste even better to me. And when you've tried this for a while, you'll feel so much better that you'll forget about that as being a headache. Yeah, this is the I emperor's so. rice. The emperors used to eat this. The black rice. Oh. It's good. So I can be an empress? Yes, you can oh, be a okay. goddess. There you go. Okay. Right. I can be a Greek goddess. Next step is you've got to load up on a couple of vitamins, vitamin B12 and folate. This is especially important for you, Mark Wise. So here's what happens. When you are gluten sensitive and you have gut inflammation, you don't absorb all the vitamins and minerals in your diet. So you become nutrient deficient. So you need to get stuck up on the good nutrients. So B12 and folate are key. And you can get a lot of B12 from clams and from fish, trout, salmon, even, even beef. You can get B12. So you want to make sure you get plenty of B12 because that's something you'll malabsorb if you're gluten sensitive. And then, of course, there's all the greens. Foley. Now, folate, the word comes from foliage, mm -hmm. plants, right? So lots of dark leafy greens, asparagus, broccoli, green peas, even uh, black-eyed peas all have folate. So you can, you know, 10 spears uh, of, of asparagus will give you half your daily needs, and about uh, three-quarters of a cup of, of spinach will give you about half your daily needs of folate. And you can really bump up your folate just by eating lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. So we took care of the malnourishment. We right. took care of giving you some replacements for grains. Ten days is up. You've done everything you're supposed to do. You feel like a million bucks. You're out there shooting hoops, playing soccer, et cetera. Mark, how do we move back to real life? How do well, we integrate the, the gluten? The key here is you want to know if gluten's really affecting you. So you want to do a gluten stress test. Ooh, sounds dangerous. Gluten stress test. That sounds stressful. So you've been off of it, right. and you reintroduce it, and you see what happens to your body. And if you feel sick, if you get headaches, if you're bloated, if you feel brain foggy like you did, if your joints hurt, if your nose starts running, whatever, you know that your body doesn't like it. Okay. Now, then you know you well, can't saying, probably... You're talking about it, taking a big bowl of pasta. Yeah, a big bowl of, of pasta. Like a, not, not, a big bowl of pasta. Really push yourself. Yeah, and then, and then, and then what you want to do is... So just, really, you just do it yeah, once to figure out if you made once. the right diagnosis. Uh, okay. yeah, you don't want to like live like that, right? You, I'm like, I don't want to go back to being... But oh, if, you, if you don't feel that bad, you may be able to tolerate. But if you feel bad, you know you can't tolerate. And then you can try little amounts. So then you can try some of the hidden sources. Maybe it doesn't matter if there's some in the, in the soup or the, uh, you know, the pasta sauce or in your lipstick. But it, you also might be sensitive to that. So people who are celiac have to be more careful. And depending on where you're on that spectrum, because it's a spectrum, like it's all the way from mild to severe. So, and it can be life-threatening for some people. So you want to just see where you are on that spectrum, and then you know what's right for you. How do I feel full? Oh my God, you'll feel so full. <laughs> We're going to be here for you. We'll coach you through this. You sure I know it's. I got your back you on promise? this. Promise. I yeah. got the back. You got the best guy. Take care of my family. <laughs> all right. Good I luck to you. Back. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. You get the full gluten sensitivity plan. Go to drogs.com. Be right back. Next, just about everyone has this in their kitchen, a staple in everyone's cupboards, olive oil. And it's not just for cooking. Surprising new uses for health, beauty, and home. The amazing versatility of olive oil. Coming up next. Whoever said a doctor's visit isn't fun has obviously never been to the Dr. Oz show. Is that right? <laughs> Make your appointment today. Go to DrOz.com slash tickets and sign up for free tickets. <laughs> All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes. Then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened. 
but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. It's the new year, and you want to lose weight. I get it. That's why I'm here to help you with the Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. This has been a year in the making. Over 2 million of you participated, and this new plan should give you the results you've been looking for. In just a few weeks, you can lose up to 10 pounds. No clubs, no fees, just medically sound, real advice. Start the plan now. What are you waiting for? Join me all this January. Happy EU Year. Is back. One of my favorite segments, new health uses for everyday things. Today, the thing you ought to have in your kitchen is olive oil. Now, you ought to be there anyway for lots of good reasons. It's an integral part, important part of my Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. But you guys have found some other very curious uses for this very healthy fat. Let's get to them. Lisa Ann is starting us off. She uses olive oil to relieve constipation. What even gave you the idea of looking for constipation solutions with olive oil? Well, you see, Dr. Oz, I needed a new backup plan. I was having some serious issues, and I needed to find a, a healthier alternative than a laxative pill. Yeah. And so I started to incorporate teaspoons of olive oil in my cereal every morning. So I would take some granola and some of my cornflakes and add a bit of olive oil into it. You put it. the regular milk in there. Mm -hmm. You use, is this just for you or you use it for the kids, everybody else? Well, here's the thing. When I, I grew up in an Italian household, my grandmother, you know, we used olive oil for everything. But it wasn't until I went to Italy a few years ago that I noticed that the parents were giving their children teaspoons of olive oil a day instead of vitamins. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, this is the healthy way of doing things. So that's what we did. I came home, I went on the internet, I, I did all this kind of research, and I started to incorporate it in my own family's diet every single morning. You're not gonna believe me, but this is actually really good. Is it good? <laughs> I, mean, I know. It, it gives it an extra little bit of flavor and a smoothness to the cereal that wouldn't be there. Plus you get to go to the bathroom regularly. And you get to go to the bathroom regularly. So add that with your coffee, you're good to go. So I, I, I was suspect of this when I first heard about it, although I do love olive oil. Uh, and so I looked it up at the medical unit, and there's a lot of good data on this. It actually relieves constipation without side effects of other laxatives, like you mentioned. Yeah. So I think it ought to become a staple. Start off with olive oil, why not? I agree. And then move on to the other stuff if you have to. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stay Doctor. <laughs> All right. Next, Shola says that she uses olive oil to make her skin softer. Absolutely. That's true? I use it as an exfoliating scrub. So all it takes is just a, about a tablespoon of sugar and a little bit of olive oil. You pour that right in there. So you pour the olive oil absolutely, on the sugar. Absolutely, absolutely. And then just mix it up. You could eat this and you, too. You, you, could, you could if you want, <laughs> if you're a little bit hungry. But you can use it on your lips, your heels, and even your elbows. Anything that gets rough during the winter time. Yeah. Smooth. Yep, absolutely, Smells absolutely. Good. Right before you shower it, and then you shower it, wash it off, and it's perfect. You ever add garlic to it? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was the first person who told you this might work? Um, you know what, I actually came up with it because I had so much olive oil in my pantry, and I'm a makeup artist, and so I'm always looking for ways to make sure that my skin looks and feels smooth. And I had, I, I, it was a fabulous sale, so I said, I've gotta use it, I'm not gonna cook it all, so let's see if I can use it as a scrub. It's a very clever idea. <laughs> And thanks very much for being here for this. Absolutely. All Thank right. You. Now, I got a challenge for you. An honest question. Has this ever happened to your child? See the chewing gum stuck in their hair? All three of my daughters have this frequently occur to them. Before you reach for the scissors, which is what I would normally do as a surgeon, you want to see how Jen used olive oil to solve the problem. Hi, Dr. Oz. My daughter got gum in her hair again. This is about the 12th time it's happened. Luckily, since it's happened so many times, I've discovered a really quick and easy tip, olive oil. I just apply the olive oil directly to the hair, rub gently, and the gum comes right out. In less than a minute, I can fix this sticky situation. Finally, Leslie uses olive oil to polish her stainless steel refrigerator door. How'd you come up with this idea? Well, I just ran out of my regular cleaner, so instead, I'm a big advocate of trying to green your cleaning anyway, so I thought, well, Stainless steel polish is a little oily. Olive oil, oil, what the heck, I'll give it a try. So, so I did it. How much you put on a little, uh, I put a more little, than you should. <laughs> a little bit less than that, but that's okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, let me do it, let me do okay, it right. So what I would do is go oh. like that. Oh, I see. Like perfume. Like perfume. Yeah. 
half. Right, just let me see touch. if there's some here, some fingerprints over here. That work right. for that? So see how there's a grain going back and forth? I'm going to go with the grain, and it's going to put just a light oil on it. And the beautiful thing is, is you have oils in your finger, yeah. but it repels it when you do it on there because it's... Oh, because it's oil, oil also? It. Yeah! No more fingerprints! I love how smart our viewers are. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> for great Thank you. Don't forget my absolute favorite use for olive oil, which is to help you lose weight. And to be healthy, you can find out how to do both on my Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. It's on DrRouse.com. I'll be right back. Tell us, what's your favorite creative use for olive oil? When I was younger, my dad would always use olive oil around the house. Whenever there was a squeaky hinge or some rusty tools, he'd spray some olive oil on it. Share your idea on Facebook.com slash Dr. Oz. All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes. Then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. A miracle, miracle, miracle. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. All new Dr. Oz. She gave birth, then was gone. Her heart had stopped. Her heart had stopped. Dead for 45 minutes. Then she came back to life. It was a miracle of God. A miracle, miracle. Her doctors say it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Is she living proof of what happens when you die? What did you start to see on the other side? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. It's been called the most important meal of the day. But for one Manhattan artist, breakfast is truly inspirational. While eating her morning cereal and listening to the Beatles one day, she got this idea. It's a cornflake John Lennon. But she didn't stop there. Look at Breakfast Beyonce. Isn't that pretty cool? And the king of all breakfasts, it's Elvis Presley. Of course it would be. She's now selling her photos for, uh, of her cereal artwork, and I guess she's pretty good to argue that it's okay to play with your food sometimes. Now it's time for Casey Mist. At first, you can feel like a 10 in just 10 minutes with the new remedies for back pain. One fast fix is a temperature treatment. Look at this roller here. It's a cold roller, which means you can massage and compress as well as apply something really cold. You put this in the freezer ahead of time. You can run it uh, in the direction of the spine or across it like you see in this little video from this segment. It helps to deal with the inflammation, the soreness, and the tenderness, which again, manual therapy, touching you will help as well as the coolness. Uh, our, our, our expert advised that it's the fastest short-term 10-minute solution for lower back pain. And an integral part of my Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan is olive oil. You know I love it anyway, but you can do a lot more with olive oil than just lose weight with it. One of my favorite new uses for olive oil is to soften your skin. One viewer brought in this idea. You take olive oil, about two tablespoonfuls of it, add it to some sugar, and you mix it up, and you gently rub this into any part of your body you want to soften up. Your heels, your elbows, your hands, any place you want to put it. You can eat the leftovers. Uh, and I think it's a pretty clever idea. In fact, I want to hear about other creative ways to use everyday items in your home. You can share them with me on my Facebook page. And finally, please be careful of dubious people online that make it seem like I'm endorsing their products. I don't. To see a full list of our trusted sponsorship partners, you can go to DrOz.com, and I'll see you next time. Yeah!